Do you know what year it is? Did you just hear a squeak? If that was you, can you make that noise again? Oh, did you turn the light on? Can you turn the light back off, please? On the count of three, or now. Thank you. Now that you know how to manipulate it, can you turn the light back on? Okay, thank you. Can you make another noise for us? Can you, can you communicate in any other way? Oh, you do, okay. Can you make it brighter? Can you light it all the way? Turn it off. All the way. Are you happy that the place you started a business in is still serving food? Does that make you happy? It does make you happy, okay. Can you turn it off on the count of three? One, two, all the way off, three. Now, turn it off please. All the way, thank you. So if you used to bake pastries and serve bread, so you did bake pastries, okay. Can you turn it off now? All the way off please. Turn it all the way off. Thank you. It's twice I've mentioned pastries. And it's come on. Yeah, bread and pastries. And it's come on both times. Were you born elsewhere and moved to Tennessee? Okay. Thank you. Now can you turn it off, please? Thank you. Were you happy here in Chattanooga? Did you get homesick and want to move back home? So you did get homesick, okay. Can you turn it off now? One, two, three. Can you turn it off? I see you trying all the way. Thank you. Uh, I did ask if, uh, if they used to make bread or some type of pastries, and the flashlight did respond. The history of this place shows that one of the previous owners in the late 18, early 1900s was actually a pastry maker. Uh, so that may give us some type of evidence to communicate with them later on and with our EVP sessions to ask more about bakery, baked goods, and who they served.